Hey y'all, an old family tent and a new Dutch oven. What could that possibly mean? That's right, time for our next adventure. Y'all come on. Okay y'all, so right now it's about 44 degrees. Not too cold, but it rained all night last night and it's still cloudy, so it's probably gonna get pretty cold tonight. Anyway, let's keep going. Okay, y'all, so I'm thinking about that spot right behind me. There's nothing flat out here anywhere, but that's about as flat as we're gonna get probably. So that's what I'm thinking is maybe right there. We'll see. Actually, I've changed my mind, y'all. I'm thinking about this area right here. I can clean out this tree here and that area is fairly flat okay y'all so this is the tent I used to camp with my kids in it's an Ozark trail it's a family dome tent 16 foot by 10 and a half feet Boy, hope we're gonna have enough room Anyway, as you can see, with this, the handle's dry rotted off. This one is. The bag's a little torn, ripped open, so not sure what kind of shape the tent's in, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna stay in it. Since I'm not hiking a long distance, I went ahead and brought my shovel with me and a few extra items getting a little bit chillier a little darker you need to get this fire going y'all Okay, y'all, I've told you before, but just in case you forgot or in case you didn't get to watch the video, this saw I'm using is a Master Force. I don't know if that's going to be backwards when we... Anyway, that is from a store here called Menards. Oh yeah, this is a lot gooder, y'all. There's a fire, our fire pit. I got off track, we gotta get that going. All different fire types, y'all. Usually when I start a fire, I start with the smallest sticks I can get. Told you this before. And I just lay some this way, some that way. So most of this wood is wet because it rained last night. But see how I got the sticks going this way? Now I'm gonna start putting them this direction. This is how I usually always do it. And as I've told you before, when you're laying your sticks together, you don't want your sticks like smashed together like that and you don't want them far apart. You want them really close with a little gap in between. That way that fire can jump from one stick to another and keep the fire going. Okay, y'all, let me get my flint and steel here.
Hey y'all, so I got the fire going. It's smoking a lot and burning slow because everything's wet, but it's going. But it's getting darker out here. It's getting close to five o'clock and it's gonna get dark really soon. So if we wanna get the tent up, we better get started now. Come on. So I am a very sentimental person, but I get made fun of a lot for that, but I don't care. My kids were little, they're grown now, like 28, 29, 27 and 29. And they were just little bitty things, like three, four, five years old when we started sleeping in this. <sighs> it's been years. My heart's kind of racing. I'm kind of excited, kind of sad. <sighs> Anyway, it's gonna be good. Okay, y'all, looks like all the pieces are here. Can't believe it, it looks in good shape too. Here it is, Nick. <laughs> Keep adding wood to the fire, y'all, because we got to have them coals for tonight. Okay, y'all, so for those of you who's not put up a tent before or don't, don't know that much about it, one of the things to always keep in mind is to try your best not to walk on the tent if you can help it. If you're going to have to get on the tent for any reason, be sure and get on your hands and your knees and crawl on it um, because your shoes can get on there, poke holes in it, rip it, stuff like that. So just a good idea to stay off of it all together if you can help it. Just thought I'd tell you. Been a long time, y'all. It has been a long time. I tell you one thing. A lot of people make fun of this Ozark brand stuff, but man, there's a lot of their stuff's pretty good. I've had this tent for so many years. And the material still looks really good so far. I don't see any holes. I don't see anything bad about it. Maybe go with I don't know. Let me go look at the picture. When all else fails. There's the picture. So it looks like the two fat poles I have. I thought I had two. Oh. Yeah, so it looks like the two bigger poles that I have, the thicker poles, will be for this middle section, one, two. And then those thinner poles will be for outsides. That's what it's looking like. Okay. Okay, y'all, so I think, oh, well, no, that's rotted. That's where this is supposed to connect into. So that strap's gone. Okay, I guess I'll poke it into the ground. And we'll hope it works.
Okay, there's the start of it, y'all. So even if that's as far as we ever got, that's enough to sleep in tonight, so we're doing good. My daughter lives in Texas. Uh, Arlington. My son, he lives local. He's got two little cabins out on a lake that he's been remodeling for about two years. So fortunately, I get to be around him a lot. Unfortunately, I don't get to be around my daughter much, but this is looking good, y'all. Okay, y'all, so fortunately, one of these hooks, well, I got a couple that are still good. One on this side on the back and one on the other side on the back. But that little pole, that little thing right there, goes right up inside that pole. Holds it in place. Well, y'all. This is it so far. Got her up. Have not went inside yet. I want to get the tarp on it to cover it. But I'm pretty pleased with it. I'm pretty excited. Have just stepped in the water. I think it's going to sleep great. We got to put up the, I say the little dining, the little whatever. Oh boy. I'm fixing to get my cot put up in here. And we're going to get out the Dutch oven. Oh yeah. We're fixing to start cooking some food. Let's see if we can get it unzipped, yo. Okay, y'all, welcome to my home. Welcome to my family's past. There's a little net up here on top, to hold all your stuff. It's big in here. I mean, you could easily sleep. Probably eight people, six to eight people. Kind of close together, but not bad. There's the outside. big pillow that I didn't get to use at my last camp out last weekend so do now okay y'all time for some food so uh, it's really hard to record with lights I mean this it's just hard so I'm doing the best I can you may not see me very much probably only see my hands mostly but anyway Let's get started. I'm hungry. Okay, y'all. So this is the Ozark Trail five quart cast iron Dutch oven. It was a little under twenty seven bucks. There was a used one for Cabela's online for fifty bucks, but it was like an hour away. So. I just went with this, plus it was cheaper, so we're going to get it out and see what it's like. Okay, y'all, so everything I've read online about this is you take some coals out, a few, you put them on the ground, you set 
the pot on top of the coals don't need many because apparently when it gets hot it stays hot for a very long time and uh, we start putting our ingredients in there we put the lid on and then we put coals on top of the lid and we let it cook it doesn't need to sit in the fire at least that's what the videos say let's see how it goes if something goes wrong y'all don't worry it's something I'm very used to so now I'm trying to, oh, I'm just trying, I don't have the right tools. I'm trying to get me some coals. Oh, here's some good coal. Oh, yeah. Right there. That's what you're supposed to do is put the, put the coals on the ground. Just like that. I don't understand how that, I know it don't seem like that would work, but. Okay, y'all. Now I'm kind of following a recipe, but not really. The recipe called for water, but I'm using chicken broth. Let's see if the bottom of this thing, it looks like it's steaming a little, but oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that, y'all. So, we're going to let that keep heating up. Okay, y'all, I think I forgot to bring a kitchen knife, but I got me a little cutting board. Y'all like that? I think it was six bucks at the grocery store as always i have my olive oil and i have my smoked turkey sausage so i'm gonna stick some oil in there first i think it needs it okay y'all i'm gonna start with the sausage we're gonna use my we'll pretend like Okay, here we go. Y'all ready? I always like to cut my sausage in half long ways. Man, this knife is good. Y'all, this is a Klein, Klein Tools knife. It's a, if you, you can look up Klein Tools. And this is what this is. And man, this thing works way good. Into the pot it goes. And we'll keep doing that. Now this tater yesterday, I went ahead and scrubbed it at home. And I always eat my taters with the skin on them. Always. So I just clean them real good. Mm-hmm. Like so. Now this is going to start cooking when we get the coals on the top. At least that's what I'm told. Okay, y'all, I bought these baby carrot things. So I think I'm just going to put them in their hole rather than cutting them up. I mean, don't you think? Maybe I should cut them in half? Or just, I'm just going to stick them in there like that. Well, let's see what we got in the goodie bag now. Oh, yeah. The most important part. The recipe did not call for this, but I did. So, we're going to have it. Just because I can. And I'm the only one eating, so... Now we're gonna go with the celery. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, now we got the onion. Oh, I got always gotta have onion too, just like just like jalapeno. I mean, what's a meal with that onion in it? You know? Just, I don't know the best way to chop these. However they'll chop, chop them. Mm. 
looking good, y'all. Okay, y'all, last but not least, cabbage. I mean, maybe it's a good thing I'm camping alone tonight in that tent. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm not letting you see me put it in there. There we go. Between the heat on top and the coals on the bottom, this stuff is supposed to start boiling. We'll see. Oh Lord, I don't like this handle. That I almost poured ashes in this thing. All right, y'all. We're gonna make some coffee. Here's my little rack I bought. Don't know if I need it. I don't think I explained my coffee pot to y'all last time. So my coffee pot is a Coleman coffee pot. I bought it at a store. My kids bought it for me a while back. But the Perker glass thing shattered. And it had little pieces of glass, I felt like. So I was too scared to use it anymore. Or I was too scared to replace the Perker glass. So, I'll show you how to do it. I'm pouring my coffee. I put the little, the little thing on. And like I told y'all last time, I don't wash my coffee pot hardly ever. Because I heard it takes all the good flavor out. And then, since I don't have a perker, I just use my coffee cup and sit on top here. And as it perks... It just shoots up into that coffee pot and goes back, I mean, coffee cup and goes back into the pot. Okay, y'all. I'm ready for some coffee. It had already cooked. I'll just have to warm it back up. Oh, yeah, y'all. Oh, yeah. This ain't my first cup of coffee. So I'm gonna try my best to show you supper. This should be ready, but I don't know. I kind of feel doubtful inside. I mean, the sides are warm. They just don't feel hot enough to have cooked something, but we'll see. We will see. All right, y'all. Cooked or not, I'm hungry, and I got to eat. I just can't keep waiting. It's about halfway done. So, I need to look up some more videos. I mean, it's not raw, and I'm going to eat it because I'm hungry. Okay, y'all. I'm pretty aggravated that that didn't work. But, I mean, what do you do? I guarantee you one thing. I mean, it's hot. And it's partly cooked. I won't be going hungry, I'll tell you that right now. Okay, y'all, so I've had supper, had my coffee. It's about 11 o'clock at night and 39 degrees. So we're fixing to go in there, go to bed. Hopefully we'll get some good sleep. Wake up early in the morning. Anyway, I'm ready.
tired, y'all. Really tired. It's a little muddy in here, y'all. Okay, y'all, it's bedtime, so uh, it's been a long day, a lot of work, but it's been fun, it's been worth it. I appreciate y'all coming along with me, I appreciate the Lord for keeping us safe, and I just, I hope we have a good night, hope we sleep good, and hope to see y'all fairly early, so we can pack it up and go home, so good night. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning, 6 o'clock, 32 degrees outside. It's time to get up and get around. Let's go. Slept pretty decent, y'all. Uh, fairly decent. Top of me got cold. And I... I'm on such of an incline. My blanket, I used my extra blanket and it kept slipping off. All right, y'all. Let's start getting packed up. Hey y'all, it's a nice beautiful morning. These are the kind of mornings I like. A little bit foggy, a little bit chilly. We're gonna start tearing everything down, hauling it to the truck, and uh, see you in a little bit. I'm just gonna have to tie it with a string or something since it ripped open from dry rot.
Okay, time for the true test, y'all. All right, all the way in there. Okay, y'all, so another one's over. Had a good time. Had a little bit of trouble cooking on my new stove, but we'll get the hang of it. Anyway, had fun. Thank y'all for coming along. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us safe. I don't say this very often, y'all. Please like, share, subscribe. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. See y'all next time. Bye.